Hey guys, this is Tito the Toy Man from Puerto Rico. Uh, I'm here tonight with another find, or let's say cyber find on eBay, because I didn't find what I'm going to show on a real f flea market or store. Um, here in Puerto Rico, we don't have a culture of flea markets or antique stores or junk stores. So there's a few on the island, but it's not that many. So it's very hard, almost impossible to find those cool ass 1970s, 80s, 60s toys. Uh, from back in the day um, so for me and for many Puerto Ricans who like this or the few ones who like this eBay is one of the sources that we go to so uh, when I was a kid and even today Spider-Man was my favorite superhero um, and I love all the other superheroes especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe but Spider-Man for me was like for some reason I had to this day it stays in my head as my favorite I even have uh, his daughter in the Marvel Legend line here anyways um, so when I was a kid, in the early 80s, late 70s, my dad gave me for Christmas or birthday, I don't remember, Amigo Corporation Spider-Man, you know, the ones that were 8 inches tall. Um, I still have it somewhere, uh, I think the, the leg is broken, I have to fix that, but I have an 8 inch Amigo Corporation Spider-Man, you can, f you can see them on Google or the AmigoMuseum.com website. Uh, I didn't know until recently that Amigo also made 12 inch figures of the superheroes back then. So I started looking around and I found that they also made the Spider-Man one. And I was like, oh my, I, I, I want that. So I, for a few weeks I was looking on eBay and I found a few options. And I finally got my 12-inch Mego Corporation 1978 Spider-Man right here. So I love this figure uh, because it's so big, you know, 12 inches. That's kind of cool. So it's bigger than my face, right? So... It has a lot of presence just by being 12 inches it has a lot of presence it has a lot of muscles you know you see the upper torso you can even see the abs a little bit big pecs and you can see the arms are like bulky biceps and bulky um quads you know so they made a new body for this figure because the 19 the first one they made if i'm not mistaken it was in 1977 1977 but that one was a little bit a, a little bit less muscular it's like a regular 12 inch body so for for 1978 they make a more muscular body which is kind of cool in my opinion um this one of the things that to find out if it is a 78 77 obviously you can see the the year stencil in the back but the fact that the torso is red it tells you it's a, 19, it's a 1978 you see this also oops this little rubber band like you can see like they kind of put a band-aid on it uh, what happens was they made a mistake in 1977 and they wrote DC Comics at the base of the neck at the base of the cranium and we know that's a big huge mistake is Spider-Man is Marvel Comics not DC Comics so for the 1978 version instead of instead of making a whole new head which was most it was was more costly they made they just glued by heat like a strip of rubber a rubber strip and they wrote marvel comics so if you find this figure and it has like a rubber strip like glued on top of the neck and it says marvel comics that's a 1978 another thing i realized like my spider-man has like a plastic tube for the arm like not the regular solid plastic arm it's like the right arm has like an empty tube and it's quite soft so I was scared. I thought somebody had sold me. I thought the guy who sold it to me sold me a repair, refurbish one, like not 100% original, refurbish. So I started looking on the web and I realized that it's not refurbish. To my relief, it's an actual 100% authentic Spider-Man 1978, 12 inch by Mego because they made two versions. The regular version with both arms with solid plastic and the spider shooting, I think it's spider shooting or something, shooting action. Uh, Spider-Man, which had the right arm, it was an empty tube because it came with a fluid in a kind of toothpaste tube, a fluid, and you will inject it here and it will shoot a spider web. And how do you inject it? You unscrew the arm here, you can see it turning around. You see? I'm not going to do it because I, I don't want to break it. I don't know. But you unscrew the wrist and you feel the arm, filled the arm with the fluid. You put the wrist back on and you squeeze the arm and the spider web will come out from a little, I'm looking at the camera, sorry, 
So my little tube or something right here. I don't know if the lighting is that great. Sorry about that. But like a, a little tube in there that will come out from the eye. So yeah, I'm very glad that it's not a refurbished one, that I got an authentic 1970 Amigo Corporation 12-inch Spider-Man. Too bad I didn't get the original box. Those are bar practically impossible to find. And if you find them, they're going to be super expensive in the hundreds of dollars. But I love it. I love it. It's big. It has a lot of present. It stands very easily. Can you see? See that? Boom. Not even three seconds. It's standing. Uh, so it's a very big figure. The head is in pretty good shape. The eyes are not a scratch or anything. Like this figure, because kids, you know, we play with them. Sometimes they have white eyes. You could see the red underneath, the scratches and whatever. So this one is fantastic. The, the suit is in great shape for something that was made in 1978 or even earlier. The suit could be earlier. Uh, it's unbuttoned. The button works. So I'm glad for that. It's just I leave it like that because it's an old, old uh, button. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. But I love it, man. This thing is huge and it's spidey and it has a lot of presence. I'm very hooked. Sorry. It stands very easily. Don't stands very easily which I also love oops where I am so what do you think guys what do you think do you have one um, so I loved it and I hope you like this very amateur video because I'm not an expert at these things but until next time and thank you for watching